ಜಯ ಜಿನೇಂದ್ರ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಿತಿನ್ ಎಚ್ ಪಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಟೀಮ್ ಆಟ್ ಜೈನೇಟರ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ಸ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಕಾಮ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಿಮೈಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನ್ ಏನ್ಷಿಯಂಟ್ ಆದಿನಾಥ್ ತೀರ್ಥಂಕರ್ ದಿಗಂಬರ್ ಜೈನ್ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಅಟ್ ತಗಡೂರು ವಿಲೇಜ್ ಇನ್ ನಂಜನಗೂಡ್ ತಾಲೂಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈಸೂರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಏನ್ಷಿಯಂಟ್ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ದಟ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಸೆಂಚುರಿ ಎ ಡಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಕ್ವಿಕ್ ಗ್ಲಿಮ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ದರ್ಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಮೂವ್ ಆನ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೈವ್ ಕವರೇಜ್ ಓವರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಎಂಟ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಓವರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಶ್ರೀ ಬಲಿ ಪೀಠ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಯು ವುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಈವನ್ ಬಿ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಗೇಜ್ ಆರ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ if this uh, temple belongs to around 14th century ad because the temple is gone through constant renovation over the centuries and uh, almost uh, reached uh, a structure similar to a modern temple um, at least uh, on its exterior uh, walls and uh, as we move on we are uh, trying to have a quick glimpse of the exteriors of the temple and we are along the pradakshina patha of the temple as you see here uh the entire structure is a completely a newly uh, made structure um, over here there isn't anything uh, specific that clearly indicates the temple that the temple belongs to around 14th century ad and uh, as we move on if you see here it continues and uh, the structure is more or less very simple and uh, there isn't any uh, clue that clearly indicates that this temple belongs to around 14th century ad however uh, as we move inside the temple we you will be able to explore and uh, have a sense of the interiors of the temple and as you move on and uh, this is the main entrance to the temple with uh, which has a small arch and the idol of goddess padmavati yakshi and uh, as we move to the interiors this is a small structure similar to a mukhamantapa or something like that and as we move further inside this is the navaranga and once you come inside up to the navaranga the, uh, uh, that is where you will be able to have a sense of the temple and about its antiquity and um, as you see here uh, the uh, navaranga has a couple of uh, pillars over here uh, there are about four pillars in the navaranga and as we move on as we move further interiors you can find uh, the sukanasi the sukanasi in the sukanasi are seen the various uh, digambar jain idols and uh, we can let's have a quick glimpse of those idols and uh, here are the idols that are available over here and uh, as we move on this we are here in at the main deity uh, at the garbhagraha or the main sanctum sanctorum of the temple where you find uh, an ancient tirthankar idol this is the idol of tirthankara adinatha the first tirthankara of jainism the the idol is about 3 uh, feet wide and about 3 and, uh, and about 3 feet uh, about 2 and a feet wide and about 3 feet height and as you see the idol the idol is in si- sitting position and this is in uh, paryankasana and the on the other sides of the idol are seen uh, two uh, lions the two simha and uh, just above that the idol is flanked by chauri bearers and above that are seen some small uh, attractive carvings and uh, just above the idol is, is seen mukkode um, so this is the uh, i mean looking at the structure I mean, that, that this is now i mean you where you could clearly have a glimpse of the antiquity of the idol which clearly indicates that this might be around belonging to around 13th or 14th century ad though there are no written uh, evidences uh to prove the antiquity of the idol or the temple however an inscription that has been recorded that was found at this place uh, which was recorded documented about uh, 85 years ago that is a sallekana inscription of a lady undertaking sallekana based on the inscriptional text it is believed that uh, uh, this uh, that inscription belong to 14th century ad hence uh, depending on the based on the ins- inscriptional evidence that was found here and also the main deity over here and the interiors of the temple and the sculpture and the architecture of this particular idol the adinatha tirthankara idol we can uh, clearly conclude 
that this particular temple uh, might be belong might be belong to around 14th century AD. So this is a temple which is about over 600 to 700 years old. And uh, with this, we will come to the end of this uh, session. And this is Nitin HP here from the team at Generator Centers bringing it live for you. Thank you. Jai Jinendra.